Hey guys, Ash here from CurseForver.com and now that the latest Jelly Bean 4.2.1 has been leaked for the Galaxy S3. In this video, let's take a look at what new features have been added to the S3 at the spawn of time. So, starting with the first thing that you notice once you turn the phone on is the wallpaper is a little different and it overall feels a little more fluid than it used to. Alright, uh, pull down the notification bar. And you can see that you don't have the quick toggles, uh, what do you say, flowing anymore. You just need to tap it over here and you get the full list of quick toggles. Similarly, similar to uh, Android 4.2 uh, on the Nexus devices, you pull it, pull the notification bar down with two fingers and you get a whole, uh, the whole list of toggles. And uh, again, with the lock screen, you can see that the lock screen has been changed and you can now add widgets to the lock screen and that's good and you can see the clock and the date have also been uh, aligned to the left instead of uh, center as it used to be with uh, Jelly Bean 4.1 on the Galaxy S3 one thing that hasn't been adopted here guys uh, from the Nexus devices is that when if you have a passcode set up for your lock screen and you slide to the right the camera will not load up with the Nexus devices however even if you do have a passcode set up like I do over here with my Nexus 4 uh, you can just slide to the right and the camera will open up. Uh, it's just that you cannot see any pictures that you've taken uh, before this. As in, see right now I just took a couple of pictures. I slide to the right, you can see one, two, but anything before that will be locked. So you need to tap on it, you need to enter the, enter the code. And that's something I really like with the Galaxy S3 having an even faster uh, camera than the Nexus 4. It's kind of annoying at times that you need to actually enter the code to open the camera up but then again that's how Samsung has been and it's something that you know uh, I wish would change but Android 4.2.1 is not the time for it to change so that's that it's because I've got an alarm set for a minute from now so stop and there you see uh, I was able to stop the alarm with uh, a voice command and again that's part of the Android 4.2 update for the Galaxy S3 and uh, there you have it voice command you can use it with the camera alarm or uh, when you get a call music radio and so on so just to show you guys again I'm going into the camera shoot shoot Shoot! Shoot! Like, as you see, it's pretty precise, and uh, I'll be the first person to, ad to admit it that you know I don't have the greatest accent, but uh, it still is able to uh, understand me well uh, well enough to uh, take the photos. That was four uh, four for four, so that's pretty good. Uh, you also get uh, under display. You get the daydream option. That is when you're when you're either docked or connected uh, to a charge cable. You say, for example, the phone will start displaying colors, or you can have flipboard data be being shown, or you know, photo frame or a photo table, different photos and so on. Uh, again, the same Easter eggs that you find on Nexus devices are available over here as well. For example, the first thing here is, it's not an Easter egg, it's a hidden feature. The developer options doesn't show up anymore. Going into about device and tapping the build number about seven times, I guess. And that will bring up the developer options. And I'm going in again, uh, tapping Android for, uh, tapping and the Android version multiple times. Opens up Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean. Hold it. Open up the Bean Flinger. Just go back, and now if I head, I'm sorry. Head on over to display again, and go into daydream. And this time you get the extra bean flinger option, so you can use bean flinger for daydream uh, right now as well. So that's the Easter egg with Android 4.2, and that's present here as well. So guys, these are all the features that I've noticed with the Android 4.2.1 uh, leaked update for the Galaxy S3i9300. 
uh, if there's anything that I've missed, if there's anything else that you guys have noted, let me know in the comment section. Uh, and as far as stability goes, it's been mostly stable. I've got uh, one random crash in the last 24 hours since I actually flashed this uh, firmware update. Uh, so it's pretty stable and if you guys want to go ahead and get it, use my link, uh, link from the description to get it. I've got a method for on how to get it if you're if you're not if you're currently not rooted and if you are rooted. So I've got both methods in the same video. So if you guys wanna get the Android 4.2 Jelly Bean goodness on your Galaxy S3, go ahead, hit the link section uh, in the description. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Before you go, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons, and uh, I'll be coming out with more videos soon. So. That's Ash from Cusplover.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.